So, uh, I would like to debrief with you uh, homework assignment number one. Um, I have good and bad things to say about this uh, homework assignment and the work you did over there. Uh, first, let me begin by saying how super happy I am with uh, the amount of work and the amount of enthusiasm you put into this work. Uh, it's really humbling and I hope um, I'm up to that and I will keep uh, giving you motivating things to do uh, in the coming, in coming semester. Um, let me start with the bad things I have to say about uh, uh, your work, and then I will move on to the congratulations. Um, my main criticism with uh, students in this homework assignment is regarding the complaints I receive by email um, about the grades that you receive. Uh, ten people have contacted me overall, um, asking me to review their paper, which takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. Um, most of the complaints uh, go this way. Um, I receive an email that says, well, peer number one uh, did a pretty good job, um, got almost all the points I wanted, but peer number two, oh, this mean, heartless person, look, they removed half the points in this question. I only received one, and I should have received one and a half. Olivier, I know you are very busy with all the work you do, but you must restore justice and restore the hope and the faith of an entire generation by making this awful wrong right. Please review this paper and give me all the points I deserve. Well, um, I won't tell you what I think about this. I will just give you a hard facts. The hard facts are that uh, out of the 10 people who contacted me, two uh, received respectively 2 and 2.75 points more um, and this is because the peers are human and as humans they are like you and me they live interesting and complicated lives and some peers are um, heartbroken because they broke up with their partner for the previous day or some peers are uh, grading you while they feed the baby um, and so uh, it happens and I'm here for this and I'm happy to fix those kind of errors um, this is my role, so do contact me if you believe this is what happened. Um, but the eight other peers end up having their grades bumped up by an average of 0 0.3 points out of 10. Uh, 0 0.3 points out of 10, this is um, not much because um, there are four assignments and out of those four assignments the average counts up for half of the final grade. And so I end up spending uh, an entire afternoon and late into the evening, uh, grading, regrading all of those papers and uh, communicating with you uh, only to bump up uh, the average grade of 8% of the class by an average of 0.3%. Uh, so um, we have to ask ourselves here what we're doing and how reasonable this really is and what I could do with this time instead uh, for another 150 people instead of just a few individuals and so I ask you I implore you before you email me to complain about your grades to calculate how much you realistically will obtain um, with a review from me and to consider carefully whether you are reacting rationally uh, to a series of facts or whether it is mostly the emotion the disappointment or the anger uh, that is talking through your email be very careful with this um, Okay, um, yeah, this is for the complaints. Now about the uh, congratulations. Uh, I said a um, month ago that there would be a little prize for the best paper in each of the uh, assignments. Best paper or best peer grade grading. Um, and so here it is. Um, the winner uh, for this time is Piyush. And Piyush uh, wrote a superb paper. Very, very neat. Uh, not too long, uh, with lots of short and clear explanation and especially what we very much appreciated uh, very very nice distinction between the general expression theory uh, the numbers put in and then the final result uh, this makes it very easy to grade um, it turns out everything is correct but if it was incorrect um, then it would be very easy to find out where exactly the mistakes come from 
um, because of that easy to see and easy to debug layout. So congratulations to Yush. Uh, we have a little prize. Um, I initially thought I would offer a book as a prize uh, because uh, who doesn't like to receive a good uh, fruit dynamics book? And so this is uh, my very favorite book, of course, in fruit dynamics. This is Hydrodynamica by Daniel Benuri. Uh, it was uh, originally published in 1738. And here's the English translation from 1960 of the whole book. Um, wonderful present. And I thought it would be good to offer this to the best um, student, to the best contributor every, uh, every homework assignment. But uh, then I thought, what if the students have the book already? And what a disappointment this would be. So I changed my mind. And instead of this, um, we settled on having a little prize of 20 euros of Amazon voucher, uh, which you can spend on Amazon. Amazon is a very big website, um, which is very well known because of so many books about fruit mechanics that uh, are available on there. So I'm sure Piyoshi will find a good use uh, for those 20 euros. Um, and again, there are another three times uh, this prize for the three upcoming homework assignments. Uh, so congratulations. Um, and for the next assignments, we will probably be looking, instead of, instead of looking at the papers, we will probably be looking at the grading uh, for, uh, for the homework. So how well and how constructive and how helpful, helpful the uh, gradings are. Um, this, by the way, is not my selection. Uh, the money is mine, but the selection is done by my colleague Johan. And Johan uh, was a student last year in this program, so he doesn't just have the experience of um, uh, the teacher and the instructor this year, but he also has the experience of having graded and having been graded by peers last year. And so I think this is a really good perspective uh, that he can give when he picks out the best contribution every time. All right, um, overall, uh, what to look for in the next homework assignment. Well, next homework assignment, we calculate force on a panel, on a flat panel. Um, and there are uh, three things I would like you to pay attention on. Uh, the first thing was not such a great success in the first assignment. It is the vector notation. Vector notation is very important for mechanics and will get more important as we progress through the chapters. When you write a vector equation, uh, it is a symbol with either an arrow on top or usually an, a bar on the, on the bottom. I don't care how you write this. When you write a vector is equal to something, that something must either be other vectors or it must have two or three dimensions. Uh, a vector has more than one dimension. This is a fundamental property of it. Um, if you write a vector is equal to 12 newtons, uh, then it, this is inherently wrong. Um, uh, a vector the length of that vector would be the vector without the arrow or without the bar. And this is correct. We express the length of that vector. But if you keep the bar or the arrow on the symbol, and so you express a vector, then you need to have either vectors or two or three lines on the other side of the equation. So pay a lot of attention to this. This is extremely important for us in fluid mechanics. Second thing is uh, the clarity of the layout of the papers. Um, too many of you send papers which Honestly, I'm, if I was to receive them from my colleagues, or I know for a fact, if my colleagues were to receive them from me, um, then this would not work at all. And um, they would just send it back to you, to me and say, Olivier, just read you the work, please. I, I don't have time to, to read through this. Um, pay attention to how easy it is to follow the thread of your calculations by aligning the equal signs. Uh, pay attention to clarity of the result. Don't make uh, the, your peers wonder whether this is a zero or a point or where the decimal separator is. Uh, make it very clear and very easy to read. Um, it is our experience uh, from last year that the expectations of peers uh, grow with time uh, with respect to clarity. And so if you don't want to lose marks on this, pay attention. And conversely, uh, when you are grading as a peer, um, I uh, encourage you to be severe with the presentation and the cleanliness of the papers that you receive. Um, and third thing is the same advice as I gave last time, which is have a very nice and clear separation between the general expression theory, the number application, and the final result. Um, and this enables your peers to 
quickly estimate and find where the error is and it makes our job a lot easier um, you just read through the paper and you say yes yes no yes yes done um, and so this is exactly uh, what you want to generate in your peers a quick and easy review separate those three things as clearly as you can All right um, so overall uh, I'm super happy with the energy that you put in this I am super happy with the quality of the work that you submit overall and I'm super happy with the quality of the reviews that you make uh, as peers uh, congratulations keep up the hard work um, I hope you're hanging in there and I will see you next time bye bye